my observations through all these years of breath watching and what I do with the breath, etc., tells me this, and I don't feel bad about it. It's not as if a brain is a bad thing. A brain is a very good thing. It's running through all the all the chakras, so it's cleansing the chakras. So therefore, it's a good thing only. So to be able to cleanse your uh, sushumna, open it, cleanse it, you will it will work on all your chakras. That's why I said that's how your adhyatmi journey gathers space. So let's uh, let's focus again on our ashwasa here. Full breath from the lowest portion all the way down, or, and then fill it up all the way up, and then. As you do the half, the first half is just, you will empty everything with the second half, squeeze one, then one, two, one, two, three, okay? The rest I want to do, or maybe I should do. Will any of you do any of the half technique? Then maybe I should do it a little bit of half It will take a little time, but we will spend a few minutes just doing the uh, first part of the half technique. The squeezes we will not do, we will do only the Krishna stroke number. So take a slow, full breath. And go. Stop. Relax your belly. Don't be repeat. Stop. Relax your belly. Don't breathe. Again. Again. Only thing, try to do the from the lowest portion. Just not use it to open it up. Just push it upwards. Very good. Very good. Already I noticed that the cupping is less than in this video. So that's a good thing. You pull out something. Very good. You have your paper cups or something to throw out anything? Hmm? Have you got it? No? Uh, you will not get another one today, I think. Well, you'll have to walk then. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You have to also. Okay, very good. Okay, one second. Slow, full, deep breath in. From the lowest portion, fill it all the way up. Keep your belly very relaxed. So when you do this hugging, there are a few other variations you can add over time. I'm not spending too much time on this because of uh, constraint, time constraints. So what you can do is as you do this, you can stick your tongue out. So when you do the hug, you can do... Try. So see, 
some of you are coming, uh, and that's a good thing, no harm in that. Do that, cleanse your system, breathe better. So start with this, then do the five squeezes, inner squeezes, and then come to the Krishna's flute to Manuva. The reason I wish to spend a, a little more time on Krishna's flute to Manuva is because it's a very, very powerful technique and it works directly on your Sushimna. If you do anything you do to cleanse, open, work, activate your Sushumna helps in every aspect of your life. So therefore, I uh, give a little more, if, if I can use the word importance, it's a wrong word because the whole cleanser part is, is good for you, but it's just that it's a little more intricate, it's a little more difficult, that's why I want to give it a little more time. And we do that and then we work on the complete yogic breath, basically the same thing. So now what you will do is, same breath as before, full breath from the lowest portion all the way up. When you do the exhales, the first exhale can be a full exhale. No squeezes, no Krishna's flute manuva. Remember the word Krishna's flute, or remember the term Krishna's flute manuva. After the first full, uh, full exhale, with the second exhale, you start the squeezes. You engage the perineum or the muladha. Number one, the muladha swadishan, muladha swadishan manipura, and so on. Higher. As many as many exhales as you can do. If you feel you can't do more than three, four, it doesn't matter. If you feel you can only do three, four, what you can do is a slight variation of this. So the first squeeze that you do. Maybe Muladha and Swadisha. Second one can be Muladha, Swadisha, Manipura and uh, Anahata. Hmm? So that you know the whole area gets a little squeeze and you push up whatever is there. So when you start doing this, also it will help you cleanse a little deeper. The cleansing will be deeper and therefore the impact on your breath may be almost immediate. You will almost immediately feel that your breath feels a little easier, smoother, lighter, subtler. So now with the Krishna's face. Yes, ma'am. Which position is better by sitting or standing or bending forward? Yes. So if, if you bend forward, it's not that you bend forward. It's almost as if your, uh, your body is automatically moving forward. So that, let, that, let the body do what it's doing. You don't do it. Sitting is good. Standing may not be so good, Vajrasana is very good. So if you like, you can try this in Vajrasana. In fact, when you do different kinds of breath work, try different kinds of asanas. Because there are some asanas where you will get a better effect. I love to do much of my breath work in Vajrasana. So try that and you will see that uh, you know, your system becomes a little more responsive to what you do. Because you get a little more openness to the whole system. Right. Bethi Aram say, in Vajrasana if you like, or Padmasana, Sukhasana, Siddhasana, whatever works for you. Slow, full, deep breath in. And then go. Stop. Relax your belly. And then go with one. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. So many of you are throwing out. Yeah, very good. Excellent. <clears throat> yeah. If anyone has a cup and uh, if you're not using it and somebody else needs it, you may share it with them. It'll just make it a little easier, otherwise they have to go out. Once again. Full deep breath in, slow full deep breath in. And go. Relax your belly. Wait a moment. And then one. Relax your belly. One, two. Relax your belly. One, two, three. Once again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> and then full deep breath. When you take that full deep breath after doing this, 
try to circulate that same breath down to the muradhar if you can channel your breath to the muradhar and from the muradhar up along the spine. So it's like a U or a O that you move with your breath. It will be very good. Once again, full flow, full deep breath in. Full breath in. And go. Relax your belly. One. Two. Full breath. 
Very good. Very good. So this is the hugging technique part of the Shwasko Shikhi Kriya. The second part is easy. Many of you are familiar with what is called the complete yogic breath. In the complete yogic breath, what you do is first you take your full breath down as low as it goes. Some people can feel all the way to the Mulaga, some don't, doesn't matter. Whatever is the lowest portion, abdomen, lower than the abdomen, whatever. Let it go down there and then fill up all the way up. Once you have got a full breath in, allow the exhale, if possible, from the lowest portion in your body up along the spine. You may not be sure whether it's happening, it doesn't matter. Your mind is going to tell your body that the breath is leaving from the lowest portion and it's moving up along the spine. That is all you need to do, nothing else. Jitna hoga, hoga, jitna nahi hoga, it doesn't matter. Okay, are we clear? So, like in the hugging technique, again here, the first breath up along the spine, stop, continue. Stop, continue. You will exhale through the nose, not the mouth anymore. Right? Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. First exhale gone, stop, relax your belly, continue with the exhale. Like you did in the hugging technique. You have waited, relaxed your belly, then the second half. Right? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Are you here? So same thing you do in this also. <clears throat> First exhale, stop. Relax your belly. Second exhale, up along the spine. From the lowest portion, up along the spine. Then you get by the first part. Also this one is the same as the earlier one. First simple movement of your breath. And then with a stop go, stop go, right? So when you stop, first you exhale everything, you don't stop midway. Allow the full breath to leave you, <clears throat> wait, and then, yes. I have to, I have to, I don't inhale. No. So between the exhales, you don't inhale, until such time as your body is comfortable. If your body starts feeling a lot of discomfort, you want to breathe, breathe. So there is no fixed thing that you must do, three exhales, four exhales, five exhales, nothing like that. Whatever is comfortable to your body. Each one's body is different, each one's breathing system is different, and so on. So you listen to your body, work with your body. Hmm? Okay? Are we good? Are we clear? Right. Full deep breath in from the lowest portion all the way up. When once it's in, you can wait up a second, one, one moment, and then allow the exhale. Up along the spine. All gone. Stop for a moment. Relax your belly. Continue. Relax your belly. Continue. One more time. In breath. Simple. Many of you may be aware the complete yogi breath on its own is a very powerful technique. If you are ever catching a cold, if you feel you are becoming sleepy, your, your breathing is becoming heavy, if you just do the complete yogi breath, without even the stop anymore, just the full breath in, full breath out, full breath in, full breath out, but from the exhale should be from the lowest portion that you can sense. If it is near the Muladha, excellent. If it is not near the Muladha, doesn't matter. You are, let your mind tell your body to do that. Keep, do this about 15 times and you will find that your breathing becomes easier. You know, auto start, it has this ability anyway. But when you combine this with the Shvastu Shuddhi Kriya, the cleansing takes, the cleansing goes to a different level. Are you feeling okay, man? Feeling okay? Problem? Some pain is there? Some uh, cut off or something else? Did you put too much pressure? Did you use too much pressure? Then relax a little bit. You'll be okay. Yeah. So, same thing as in the Hathi technique. Full breath out and then wait, go. Wait, go. 
Each side between the weight and pull, you have to relax your belly. That is important. The more you are able to relax your belly, the better will be your exhale. Okay, once again, full deep breath in. And then exhale from the lowest portion. No, 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 not the mouth. This is not the hugging technique. This is exhale through the mouth. Sorry, exhale through the nose. Full exhale, con, stop. Relax, relax your belly again. Once again. And then take a full breath in. So this is the basic thing of the complete yogic breath. And what you are doing is you are adding a little dimension to it which is after the first exhale you stop, you relax your belly, allow the second exhale. Again you stop, a third exhale. How many were you able to do? How many exhales did you manage? Three, four. Come on. How many did you manage? Three, four. Four, four. Yeah. So you, four seems to be fairly common. Yeah. Three, four, three, four. Yeah. Fairly common. That's okay. Very good. So try the same thing. And after you've done this five times, you will do five times with the squeezes. You remember the squeezes? The first squeeze. The lowest portion which means in the pelvic area, lower abdomen, upper abdomen, chest. Simple squeeze. Slow, full deep breath in. Exhale. No, no, no. Don't, don't put pressure to exhale. Just allow the breath to leave you. All gone. Stop. Continue. Relax your belly. Continue. Stop, continue. Relax the belly, continue. So, you are doing this four, five times? Good, very good, no problem with this. The idea is to teach your body how to do the stop, go, or stop and continue, basically. The first breath, almost everything leaves you, and then you wait a moment, relax your belly, some more breath is available to exhale with the second one. Simple. Chali kare twist. Full deep breath in from the lowest all the way up. And exhale from the lowest portion. All gone. Stop. Relax your belly. Continue. Once again. Again. In breath. Simple. So we are a little short of time again. So what we'll do is we will just do two simple squeezes and then we'll go to the Krishna Sloop Manubar. Right? Because as you know, I give a lot of weightage to the Krishna Sloop Manubar because the cleansing that it achieves. So slow full deep breath in. Allow the exhale from the lowest portion. Now stop and then do a little squeeze with the exhale. Relax your belly. Again, squeeze. Again, relax your belly, squeeze. Let that squeeze channel your breath up the spine. As if the exhale is happening up the spine. Any question, any doubt? Hmm? No, we, we don't breathe in between during the cycle because the idea is first to empty the system. Jitna khali karnenge, then the fresh breath has a different value. Okay. Once again, clear? No problem? How many times are you able to do this now? With the squeeze? With the squeeze? Hmm? Four? Four squeezes? What about the others? How many squeezes? Three? Okay, no problem. No problem. Three? Okay, no problem. Jitta bhi hoya. One second. Full breath in. And allow the breath to leave. All gone. Stop. Relax your belly. Go with the squeeze. 
Relax. Repeat. Relax. Repeat. Relax. Once again. So all the sound that comes out of you, you know, if you hear something in your chest, etc. They are all signs that there is something, there is some blockage, there is something that needs to come out, it will come out. No problem. So I am not going to spend more time on the squeezes because we will jump straight to the uh, Krishna's root manuva. Ideally, do five. Five simple rotations of your breath, five with the simple squeezes and then five with the Krishna's root manuva. Ma'am, of course, the question is here. Cheese? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If there are special conditions in your body, you may work accordingly. You know, sometimes Koli uh, Karan say, especially for women, there are certain days when you when the body needs to be a little easier. So take it easy at that point of time. Always listen to your body. If your body allows something, very good. If it doesn't allow, don't do it then, but don't give it up. Do it later. Times change, circumstances change, condition of the body changes. So don't give up the practice just because something feels difficult one day. See, many of these practices are very difficult to learn, very easy to give up. So don't make that mistake. Because this is a great way to cleanse your system. The more you are able to cleanse your system, the better results you will get in every aspect of your life. We may guarantee about it. The more you are able to cleanse this respiratory system, nadis, etc., the better results you will get in every aspect of your life. I'm saying this with great responsibility. Every aspect of your life. Now you can think what this every aspect means. You can see that. Now we will do the Krishna's root manoeuvre. Same thing. Remember what do we do in this? How do we do it? Hmm? Yes, chakra wise, right? Clear? Are we clear? Any doubts? Come on, I need a little more energy from you over what's happened today. Yesterday you had more energy. It's too early in the morning over. Hmm? Okay, tell me. Slow, deep breath in, full breath in. And exhale. All gone, relax your belly. One. No, no, two of those. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. In bed. Very good. Clear your system. Any clear, any mucus, throw it out. Once again, slow, full, deep breath in from the lowest all the way, all the way up. And allow the exhale. All gone, relax your belly. Squeeze one. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In breath. Do you feel an immediate change in the quality of your breath? Huh? Does anybody feel a difference in the quality of the breath? You feel a difference? Feels lighter already? Yeah, very good. Anyone else? Does the you feel the breath feels like right? Ah. And your and your breath feels a little easier, smoother than before, lighter, is that right? Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Okay, yeah. You have a question? Yeah. You can hear a lot of bell chain. Yes. So what is happening is remember what I told you earlier? This is helping open your sushuna. When the sushuna begins to open, all of this will start, to, all these things will start leaving. Whether it is gas or whether it's uh, flame, all of it will start leaving. And that's good. So let it happen. That is not supposed to be inside you. It's supposed to be outside you. 
So let it grow. Full breath. Let it move out. Right? Once again, full breath in. Slow, deep, full breath in. And allow the exhale. All wrong. Relax your belly. Go with one. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In breath. Very good. Please clear yourself. Any cough, anything that needs to come out, clear it. Cleanse it. <clears throat> Feel the difference in the quality of your bed. Immediately. Some of you have immediately started feeling a difference in the quality of your breath. This is how powerful this is, this breath system is. Cleanses and does something magical inside you. Immediately you feel your breath is smoother, easier, better, lighter, and which is a beautiful feeling. Once again, slow, full, deep breath in. Allow the exhale. All come. Stop. Relax your belly. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. In breath. You have to make a little effort. It's not easy. Is it easy? It's not easy, no? There is a little effort. You know? And you have to keep your mind on it. Very good. One more time. Slow, full, deep breath in. And allow the exhale. All gone. Wait a moment. Relax your belly. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. In breath. Very good. So, <clears throat> this is the second part of the Shvastosh Shuddhi Kriya. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so something is trying to come out. It will come out. It may not come out the first day. It may not even come out the second day. Remember, you have a tennis court inside. Right? And your breath is playing ball with you. Right? Somebody is playing tennis inside. So, it's stuck somewhere. It will come out. Don't worry. As long as you feel there is something, keep doing this. The more you are able to expel. Stay there is one part. Any of these contaminants, any of this stuff that is there inside mucus, etc. The more of it leaves, the more area is available for your body to do the real breath work or the breathing that it needs. Whatever that breath is supposed to do, it will be able to do it well. Yeah, so initially do, like I said, 15 of the uh, hugging technique, 3 parts in the hugging technique, just the first part is just the half, right? Second part is the half with the squeezes, and the third part is with the Krishna's flute maneuver. So 15 of those. It won't take you very long. Similarly, with the complete yogi breath, five, just a exhale, stop, go, stop, go, exhale, and then stop, go, exhale with the squeeze, and third with the Krishna's flute maneuver. Simple. Same thing in the first happy technique. Same thing in the second, complete yogic breath. Tomorrow I will teach you one more part of this. The third part, which will be even more powerful. But we have to go step by step. So if you've come so far, you have a good understanding, do this regularly initially so that you, so that your body understands how to do it. Otherwise, if you do it for a few days, leave it, then later if you try to do it, it won't happen. But the more you are able to settle this into your system, the better your system will begin to respond to any kind of uh, situation where you need to do this. 
बिकॉज योर मेमरी इज देर देरी कर देंगे कुछ दिन तक नहीं करेंगे जो सुगेरे पहले भी जज कर दूंगा या समी इधर है क्वेश्चन यस
and if you spend five seven minutes to do something that helps you breathe better, you have you know you have made uh, your uh, you help yourself or you loaded the dice in your favor hugely. Please remember. The better you breathe, the better will be every aspect of your life. Concentration included, studies included, sports of course, every aspect of your life. Is there anything else? Any other questions? Shall we end for today? I think I have already over time. I think I'm five minutes ahead of extra time of paper. Uh, you have something to do at 6.45, is that right? Huh? Oh. So we'll do a three ohms and then we can sign off. Slow full deep breath in.